The world's top CEOs do it, they make millions, they seem to have it all figured out. What am I talking about? Cold shower. Cold showers. Cold shower. Cold showers. Cold shower. That's right, cold showers. Now wait a minute. Can a three minute cold shower really be that good for you? It can boost endorphins. Improve your immune system. It raises your dopamine level 250%. These claims sounded a bit bold to me, so I decided to do a deep dive into the science behind cold shower and investigate whether they really do what all these people claim they do. I read paper upon paper upon paper, spent hours, I mean days on this topic and eventually came to the conclusion researchers couldn't care any less about this topic. Honest truth is, there really isn't any research on this topic yet. Some studies have been done on cryotherapy however, which is submersion in very cold water. And they did find pretty cool results, like a decrease in inflammatory responses and improved blood circulation. But that's full-on submersion, and the effects of cryotherapy heavily relies on the cold seeping deep into the body. Now I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure a cold shower won't get that deep into your body. The science doesn't really end there though. Some other studies analyzed swimmers who swim in Antarctic waters. Again, some very interesting findings, but those sessions last for hours, not mere minutes like a cold shower would do. So the question is, all those claims the people make, where do they come from and are they all made up? Not at all. However, they are very subjective. And I mean very subjective. Most of the benefits reported from cold showers are cognitive benefits. People say they feel more awake and alert. They say the mental fog disappears. People also say it makes them more productive and they feel in control. And these make sense. You see, when you wake up in the morning, your systems are still warming up. Your hormone systems are still being ramped up to handle the day. And most of us, including me, take a while to get going in the morning. A cold shower first thing in the morning basically jump starts the body. That moment the water hits your skin, your body goes into fight or flight mode. Tons of adrenaline hits your nervous system. You're instantly pulled into reality and feel wide awake. Mentally, this is great. There's nothing better than shaving off a few minutes of warm up time every morning. But you know which hormone also gets released when your body goes into flight or fight mode? Cortisol. Yep, that's right your stress hormone. Chronically elevated levels of this could eventually lead to immunodeficiencies, which basically points to that claim that was made earlier in the video to be totally contradicted. An improved immune system. Now to be fair, this connection is a bit strange because a study done in 2008 with 2300 participants showed that participants who took cold showers every day for 30 days called in sick 29% less than those who didn't take the cold morning showers. And this is where the science gets a little bit dicey. Now, obviously 30 days really isn't a lot and there are many factors that play a role in getting sick other than just the strength of your immune system. But I guess it's something, right? Anyways, another benefit also listed by these new age health gurus is that there is a improved weight loss that gets accompanied by these cold showers. A claim often made is that these cold showers stimulate brown fat, which is metabolically active fat. Therefore, the body burns more fat to keep you warm and blah, blah, blah. This is true, don't get me wrong, it's just not nearly as impressive as they make it sound. That three minutes of a cold shower every morning might increase your calories burnt with a hundred or so, which is basically one apple. The biggest benefit with cold showers, in my opinion, is the control factor. The fact that you overcome yourself and break through that stubborn wall of self-doubt. If you can take control of the small fear of cold water heating your skin, you automatically believe that you can take control of the next situation that pops up in your life. And this, I think this is where the magic happens. So if you're somebody who feels trapped in the never-ending cycle of self-doubt, then cold showers might be a benefit to you. I'm really interested in knowing what you think. Have you found any interesting science on this topic? I'm gonna end this video here for today. Please tell me in the comment section if you know of any cool findings. Remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video, Mondays, as always. Cheers.